Okay, so now that you have the image for today, you're going to simply click, drag down to your Photoshop icon, and let go. And it should open up into your Photoshop document. And today we're going to be using the pen tool. And you should be used to the pen tool from your Illustrator. Now the first thing we want to do is zoom in 400%. Now we'll start at the top, and I'm going to hold down my shift key to get a nice straight curve starting at the top. And as I work my way down, I want you to use as few lines as anchor points as possible, and make sure that your line follows the path of the shape. And make sure your handles are going in the same direction, not like here, but here as the shape itself. So I'm going to continue. Now, most of the time in Photoshop, you will be using your pen tool to cut out your objects. Now, you did see learn ways to select on Monday and you will also use those selections. But for the most part, you'll use your pen tool to cut out your images. You use your selection tool to select regions that you might need to remove. Now I'm going to continue. Right. Now, if I did mess up, I can always go to the A as my shortcut and drag out a handle. Also, as I'm working, I can always hold down the Alt key, and that will allow me to come in. All right. All right. Now that I have it done, I need to select my line. Now, nothing has happened in my Illustrator project, in my Photoshop until I right click and I want to say make selection. So I have to turn my rasterized lines into a selection. I'm going to hit OK. Okay, now that we made a selection, we're going to come over to our background. We're going to double click to release the locked background. We'll hit OK. And down here, we're going to add a layer mask. Just by clicking the layer mask, you've now masked out what was, be, what was the image here? It's still there as we can look in our layer, but now it's hidden. And we know it's hidden because it's been colored in black. And what is white shows through. And we can move this around. Now let's see how well we did. So we're going to go over and add a solid color. Now the way the color picker works is inside here you have all the hues of the you have all the red hues to change a different color you go through the spectrum by going up and down and then you can choose your color respectively you have to click on the color in order to see and reflect it right here and I'm going to hit OK now notice that the color is on top of the image that we were just working on so whenever we add a layer, it always goes on top of the layer that we were last working on. So we'll just drag it down. Now the last thing is, today's shortcut is Control J. Now I'm going to go to V for the Move tool, and Control J will let you move. Control J. Control J. What that does is it copies the layers. 